Hey everyone, today I'm going to be taking a look at the Hollyland Mars T1000 wireless intercom system I've got set up here in front of me. So this was actually provided to me by Hollyland, but they have no editorial control over the content of this review. They will not see the review before it is posted, and they have not tried to influence me in any kind of way as to what, what I might say about this product. So, let's talk about basically what this is. So this is a four headset wireless intercom. Uh, it includes four headsets for, with wireless body packs. And you can also have a headset in the base station as well. Uh, speaking of the base station, let's take a very quick tour of it. So on the top, you'll actually see a couple of uh, Sony L-style batteries. Uh, this, these can be used to power the device, or you can plug in with the included AC power adapter. And then looking at the front, we've got a power switch. We've got a screen that actually lets you see which headsets are connected. So in this case, headset one is not only connected, but it's active, it's in talk mode. Headset two is connected, but it's muted. Uh, there's also some buttons here to navigate uh, a menu that the device actually has. And we have a button to kill all remote microphones, a place to plug in a headset, and then a volume control for the headset that's plugged into the base station. On the left side, we have the power connector. So this uh, accepts anywhere from 7 to 36 volts. And then a connection for an integration with an external intercom system. And that's actually how I've used it in my testing. So I integrate it with the intercom system that I have here in my trailer. And that is done with a Cat5 cable. It does not come with that cable, but it's very easy to build. It only took me a few minutes to make mine. And then on the right side, there are a number of USB ports that are used to charge the body packs uh, that come with the unit. Uh, speaking of the body packs, uh, there are four included. They are they're made of metal. They're actually very well made. And they have internal batteries, so uh, you can't swap the battery out. The battery is good for about eight hours. You have two antennas on the top, a volume control, and a place to plug in the headset. These use the same headsets that you would use with a computer, a gaming style headset. You can supply your own if you want or use the ones that are included. On the back is a battery clip and then you have a USB port for charging, an output for tally lights on the right side, and then you have a mute slash talk button on the right side as well. Now one thing that I found a little unusual about these, like when you want to actually talk as an operator, you don't just press the button to, to talk, you have to press and hold, and that puts it into talk mode. And then if you want to mute it, you have to press and hold that button for several seconds as well. What they intend for you to do is to actually mute the microphone by raising it, or to put it back into talk mode by lowering it. So instead of a push to talk system on the uh, receiver itself, you would raise and lower the microphone. So in terms of the range of these units, uh, I was able to get them to work at over 300 feet without any real difficulty. They even actually worked with the base station outside and a headset inside my trailer, which I thought was rather impressive uh, considering the trailer is basically a RF dead zone. In terms of sound quality, it sounds a lot like a lot of the other intercoms that are out there. I believe it uses decked technology from wireless cordless phones because uh, it tends to have that same sort of sound quality to it as well. I did find that there was an awful lot of background hiss and that the volume on the receivers was not as loud as I probably would have liked it to be. In a really loud environment, these might not be loud enough uh, for you to be able to hear your technical director as you're operating a camera. And one comment that I heard from my camera operators when they used this was that they didn't necessarily like only having the, the earphone on one side. They would have preferred having on both sides. However, since this uses a standard 8th inch jack, you could actually supply your own headsets if you wanted to. Let's take a quick look at the menu inside the receiver. Alright, so you press and hold the center button. That will get you into the menu mode. And it has menus there to pair the receiver with the, with the base and then there is an application button in here and that allows you to choose whether you're working in a quiet or a noisy environment and that alters the sound quality a little bit for either one. You can also set a mic type. This supports not only dynamic mics but it also support, supports electric condenser mics as well so you can select the sensitivity there. Uh, there's also a menu to review information about the battery 
and then there's just a general information so you can see the current settings of the microphone there as well. Let's also take a look at the menu for the transmitter. So again, like the body packs, you press and hold the menu button there in the middle, and that'll put you into menu mode. And again, you got some mic options, so there you can set your mic type. You can also set the gain, and this is referring to the mic that's plugged in directly to the, the base station itself. There is the same application option that we saw on the transmitter, so you talk, whether you're working in a quiet or a noisy environment, you can choose that setting there. There is a setting for the four-wire input, which is this one that I'm using here in order to interface with my other input. Uh, you can actually set the input and output gain, and I did need to tweak that a little bit when I integrated into my system. And then you have a system menu that lets you see information about the software version and the currently configured settings for the device. All right, with all that said, uh, let's let you hear what it actually sounds like. Okay. So here I am talking into one of the remote body packs. You notice that there is a little bit of a delay. It's mostly because this is a digital transmission system and all digital audio systems have some sort of delay to them. You also notice that it sounds a little bit like a telephone. That's, I believe, because the system does use telephone type technology in order to, to send the audio from the transmitter to the uh, receiver and, so, and, and vice versa. Speaking of which, Everybody can talk at the same time. It's not a what we call a half duplex system. It is full duplex, which means anybody can talk at any time, and everybody can hear them. Uh, one little thing that some people did particularly care for when they use this is that you don't hear yourself on your own pack, so you don't always know when you're live, and you don't know how loud you're speaking. So a little bit of uh, side tone would have been nice in these devices. All right, so that said, what do I think of this device? I think that if you're looking for a relatively inexpensive intercom system and you need wireless capability, this actually, this actually does make a nice option. It does have a few little quirks about it that I would have probably done differently if I was designing it, but it does work and, and you are able to communicate effectively with uh, other members of your crew. In terms of pricing, uh, the retail price that I've seen is around $1,800 for the system, which I think is actually fair considering what it is maybe a little bit high but considering the build quality of these these are all, all these units are built very very well uh, i think it's actually probably a, a decent price for what you're getting uh, there are better sounding intercom systems on the market but they tend to be a lot more expensive so if you're looking for better sound quality you may want to move up market a little bit but if uh, you need something that just works well and gives you good range and in, relatively inexpensive then the hollyland mars t1000 is probably a good option for you so there it is. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this, you can go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below, and I'll do, do my best to answer those. So anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.